So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing all about Walmart's Sparkathon, which is a hackathon conducted by Walmart, and it is your chance to get a job or an internship opportunity with Walmart. The applications are currently open, so I'll leave the link in the description. Apply as soon as you can. And this is going to be the most detailed video on this topic. There are lots of other videos, but I promise you this is going to be the most detailed one. So let's get started. And before we start, it would be great if you subscribe my channel. So first of all, uh, why should we participate in this? So you know, you get to uh, get recognized at Converge, which is Walmart's retail tech event, which is in Bangalore. So you get an opportunity to visit Converge. You get to visit a lot of people, directors of Walmart, other company CEOs, etc. So this is great for you. Uh, secondly, winning teams stand a chance to win exciting cash prizes. I will tell you soon what those cash prizes are. You also secure potential interviews for internship and full-time roles at Walmart Global Tech India. So if you are a college student, this is a great opportunity for you to get into the experience with Walmart, get a job with Walmart. Then for, lastly, uh, you get to showcase your talent and innovation. And of course, in a hackathon, you definitely learn even if you don't win. So coming to the cash prizes, winning team will get 2,90,000 rupees. First runner-up, 2,32,800. Second runner up will get 1,74,400 rupees, and the top three finalist teams will get internship and FT opportunities that's full time opportunities at Walmart Global Tech India. Uh, of course, they will have to give interviews, but they will get that interview opportunity at least. Uh, what is eligibility criteria, uh, and uh, how do you form teams? So, first of all, uh, full time BE B Tech programs are eligible. Graduating batch of 2026 and 2027 20, only. So, if you are in your first or second year, you cannot apply. But if you're going to be graduating in 26 or 27 and you're doing BTEC, you can apply. Uh, then full time dual degree pro programs, that is BTEC plus MTEC, uh, graduating batch of 2026 and 2027, they are eligible. Again, first, second, third year students are not eligible because this is a five year course. So only if you're graduating in 26 and 27, you're applicable. Then full time ME or MTEC pro programs, again, graduating batch of 2026. And you can only be part of one team. You cannot be part of multiple teams. And one team should be consisting of two to four members. And uh, there's nothing is written for college, like which colleges are you know, eligible or not. So everyone from any college is eligible, which is great. Next is uh, you should be pursuing a degree in any of the following fields. So computer science, data science, AI, electrical, triple E, EC, IT, mathematics. So all of these people are eligible. So if you are doing, say, a VTEC in mechanical engineering, then you are unfortunately not eligible. So what are the important dates? Uh, so applications are currently open. Applications are open on June 5th, 2025. Last date to apply is July 14th, 2025. Finalists will be announced July 29th and winners will be announced on August 29th, 2025. I'll describe to you in detail like which what each of these rounds means. So the first round is like I think the most important round because this is where you know so many people will apply, but only some will be able to go to the next round. So in this, what you have to do, you have to think of an idea. You have to make a two-minute video presentation on it and upload to YouTube, right? And in this two-minute presentation, you are supposed to include the problem statement by you're thinking of this idea and what is the solution that you are proposing, right? So next, uh, in this round, I will suggest that you add data. Like, you know, this problem will help 20K customers or this problem will, you know, reduce carbon emission by X percentage. So this is, uh, we'll talk in a lot more detail going forward about how to do this but basically you just have to submit a two minute video presentation in it so this is i think the most crucial round because this is going to be where you know i think less than like only maybe 10 15 percent people will be able to go to the next round then the next round uh that's that'll start from july 14th this will be jury round so in this uh you will have to you know create a three minute video presentation of your idea and then that will be played in front of the jury and then there'll be q a so this will be like virtually on a meeting where the jury, uh, people from Walmart, they will ask you questions. Okay, you know, why this idea? Uh, you know, uh, why this solution? Or, you know, they can also point out some loopholes that, you know, okay, what happened in this case? What happened in that case? So this will sort of be like the first round. You'll have to think about the solution in a lot more detail and you will have also be ready for, you know, all sorts of QA. So after this, only three teams will go to the final. And if you're in the final, you'll get a fully sponsored trip to Bangalore for Walmart Converse 2025, which will include airfare, which will include hotels, everything. And you'll get networking opportunities with directors and CEOs. And then finally, on August 29th, they'll decide you know, okay, which team is the winner and which is the runner. So of the five of the three finalist teams, 
like the ranking will be decided so these are the important dates so let's now dive right into what the first round is so the first round uh, there are four themes for the first round so as i said you have to you know think of an idea like think of a problem statement and think of a solution right so uh, what is the problem statement so there are four themes first is reimagining customer experience next is transforming retail supply chain then creating a sustainable future and building trust in retail with cyber security so these are the four themes uh, this is all mentioned on the walmart market one website by the way i just took a screenshot from there so the link will be in the description so just check this out and you can also click on no more but just to give you an idea you know like what each of these themes means so first of all is like customer experience you want to change the customer experience so you can have ar vr like you know try before buy so if you see you know probably like on mintra or other apps you know you have this option okay i want to see even google now has this option that i know i want to try this dress how will this look on me so that kind of thing can be implemented by walmart then you could you can have conversational ai you can have chatbot so instead of like you know we talk to sales persons when we go to the store so instead of that if you are able to talk to ai agents okay you know i want this but do you have like one size more you know one size less something like that or you know do you think this looks good on me or what should i buy something like this so conversation ai you can have predictive ai that okay you know what would you need if this person is buying x so based on their history you will predict that okay this person will probably buy this thing next immersive ai you can have virtual games virtual spaces so roblox is one you know website or one product where we have virtual spaces so during covid times our college used it so it's sort of like you know it's like an experience in the real world although it's not that great but you can definitely check out roblox then you can have frictionless checkout like one tap or no tap payment so now currently if you see in stores you have to stand in line and you know for payments so like amazon go there should be like one tap payment that's it so this is the first track about reimagining the customer experience and the next track is retail supply chain supply chain is basically logistics you know that you know how does how do goods go from one place to another from factory to the stores uh, so that kind of supply chains and uh, to the store or to the person's home so this you need to think of so this i am just giving you some examples you can have ai driven demand forecasting like you know okay uh, you know so based on like whatever people are buying uh, the warehouses should have this product next so this should be ai driven so that there is minimal wastage right then you can have ar glasses for store associates so they can restock fast so you know they wear those glasses and they can say okay you know this thing is i think less so i should restock this but you know this product is running low i should be able to restock this something like this so this is something you can do then autonomous delivery solutions should be there uh, like drones etc then the next theme is creating a sustainable future so you can have ai expiry risk predictor you can have green logistics like low emission delivery routes then you should be able to you know have extend product life uh, so you should have some app to return old clothing something like that then energy efficient stores maybe use ai to you know optimize light or cooling or whatever then the final theme is building trust in retail with cyber security so you can use blockchain multi factor authentication gen ai for you know fraud detection uh, so these are the four themes so you have to choose one of them i have given you an idea about all of these themes because i did not find an idea anywhere on the internet so i thought you know why not give you some uh, you know idea in the video itself uh, now coming to the most important section previous year ideas uh, i think this will definitely help you out because this will also show you what kind of videos people made what were presentations people made uh what was their actual code so the customer experience i found these like ar vr for furniture assembly so this is one of the winners so this is the link and you can see from 6 minutes then there's ai driven personalization then there's some ai assistant and there's some recommendation system these are not the winners but uh like these three are not the winners but i would still you know you can still have a look to just see you know what kind of submission people were made then supply chain we have yard master uh this is also winner next best location this is winner then dynamic shelf management and 3d truck parking uh, so this is another video that i found uh, so if you look at 5 minutes you can see the idea and this is also a winner then kushal vijay has recently uploaded a video he is another youtuber so he has uploaded a video where he has ideas for all the themes so i really like that you know he has given some ideas for all the themes uh, so you can check this out then you can also check out this parkathon showcase which was the showcase for all the winners this is i think in 23 or 22 so it's a little old but i would still urge you to go ahead and see then you can also have parkathon 2024 ideas uh, 
so this is like basically what Walmart is already doing, sort of, or other companies what they're already doing. So these are existing ideas currently, right? So uh, these were discussed in Pakistan 2024. So go ahead and see it. And also, I would suggest you can, you know, you can use AI. You can use ChatGPT, Gemini Deep Research, etc. So just from this scene, you know, this is the theme. Can you tell me, you know, some GitHub, Medium, YouTube videos for existing hackathons? And, you know, I am participating in Walmart Hackathon. So AI is very good at at least giving you one initial idea. And then you can obviously, you know, do your research on it and, you know, find all sorts of articles on it and, you know, all of that. But to get a starting point, I would say you should definitely use AI uh, to just get started. And then you can also, you know, like instead of if you have to say read about Walmart's supply chain, so there are thousands of blogs on that, right? You can't read all of them, but you can ask AI. You know, these are, I want to understand Walmart supply chain. What are the problems? So go on, AI might be able to help you. As a starting point, I'm not saying rely completely, but as a starting point, it will definitely be helpful. Uh, coming to some other tips. So you should put numbers in your presentation. This is very, very important. Uh, so for example, you know, this will decrease carbon footprint by X percent, or, you know, currently it will decrease the time to, you know, shift from the factory to the warehouse and like by, you know, this much amount of time, something like this. So put numbers, because when you put numbers, it puts a very great, you know, because when the jury will look at your idea or when the person who's looking at your presentation, they look, okay, this is like a great percentage, you know, okay, it decrees by 10%. So numbers are important. You can say blah, 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 but in, when it doesn't actually show some business impact, it's useless. So whatever idea you have, tell that, you know, okay, this will be the benefit of this idea. A uh, demo video should be really good because honestly, like the first round is just demo, like two minute of presentation video. So if that is not good, they will be rejected straightforward. So it should be really good. It should have figures. It should have less text, use animations, uh, you know, make it very interactive, make it very eye pleasing, make it very beautiful, add numbers. I, you know, when I say beautiful, don't, I, I don't mean, you know, add uh, random things. I mean, you know, add numbers, add figures, add uh, some, you know, flow charts instead of you know, writing a lot of text. Best presentations are not the ones with the most of most text. So keep text low and figures, etc., as high. And you can see, uh, you know, what problems Walmart, Flipkart are already facing to get uh, an idea of the, you know, what your idea can be or what problems there are. You should read these papers. So Walmart has their own blogs. So go ahead, read these blogs. Um, then what are the problems in supply chain? So whatever you're trying to find, you know, just go ahead and you know, type, okay, what are the problems in Walmart supply chain? And you'll find a lot of blogs for that. Uh, and these are like very in-depth. So if you are solving, I would suggest that, you know, go ahead and read a lot about these. Because if you are not very passionate about the problem you're solving, then you'll not be able to make a great presentation. Then the jury will also not be convinced. So make sure you spend a lot of time if your idea is good your work is done like you know 60 70 percent of your work is in your idea itself so make sure the idea is good and they should be very useful for more work so don't try to you know make a general idea you know okay okay this can be used by amazon this can be used by this this can no think of the problems that walmart is facing or flipkart is facing because flipkart is linked to walmart right so think of that right so what are the problems that these companies are facing like what are the problems which are making them lose a lot of money and then try to solve for those problems. So that is a, a, an important tip because that will help you find problems that are very relevant. And then your chances of being selected for the next round definitely increase. Finally, how are Walmart winners chosen? So they will be chosen based on innovation, creativity, scalability of the solution, technical feasibility. Like, is it actually feasible? Or are you just saying some random stuff which is not possible? What is the impact and benefit? Very important. Because that is like that's the reason they are you know conducting this hackathon to get some ideas which can help them. Quality of proof of concept and demo. So how is the POC? How is the proof of concept? How is the demo? So that quality also matters. So rate your presentation on all of these uh, formats. And yeah, one more important thing: you cannot submit multiple ideas. So I know you might be thinking, I submit two, three ideas. No, you are supposed to only submit one idea. So choose one theme and submit one idea. You cannot submit multiple ideas, unfortunately. And once you've submitted an idea, you cannot edit it. So before, you know, submitting the final idea, make sure everything is there, you know, you actually want to submit it. There's no edit option. Finally, 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 if you get selected in the top three, you will be given opportunities to interview for internship or full-time roles. So from what I have come to know, for internships, they don't take interviews. They directly give you an internship, right, which is great. So if you're in your third year and you get, you get selected in the top three teams, you will be given an internship at Walmart. But 
for SD roles, you will have to give some interview before getting selected. And also, uh, even if you get an internship, uh, when you you know convert to PPU, right? You want to convert to full time, you'll have some sort of a short interview there also. Uh, coming to the SD roles, so if you get if you're in a final year, you want to get a full time role, you will be having an interview. So the interview will have three rounds: two DSA, one behavioral. Uh, DSA rounds will have lead code, medium kind of questions, nothing too difficult. And you will also be asked about your resume. Okay, what was the projects? Whatever projects are there in your resume? Whatever technologies are there in your resume? And you can also be asked about your Pakistan project. So you'll mostly be asked about your Pakistan project also that you know, okay, how did you? What was the idea? And how did you implement it? You know, what was the? Why did you think of this idea? Stuff like this. So those kind of things will also be asked. And if you want to read a little more in detail about the recent interview experience, I think uh, this is a great blog that I found in which this person has talked about his interview story and he got an interview through Walmart Pakistan itself. So I think that's it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like this video.